Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. It is still March 2020. We're still in lockdown mode here uh, in Canada. Uh, we've been asked to stay inside, stop the spread of the, uh, of the virus that's going around. And to that end, I've been doing a lot of recipes elsewhere on the channel about how to use stuff that's in your pantry just to get by. A lot of people are out, of, are out of work and a lot of people just can't get out to the grocery stores to buy stuff. So I'm doing a lot of videos that show you how to use canned goods or staples that you already have in your cupboard. But at the same time, I think it's important to carry on and try to keep as much normalcy in our lives as possible. Otherwise, uh, you'll just go crazy listening to the news. Stay safe, be careful, but also stay calm and carry on. I think someone's already put that on a poster somewhere. Anyway, so I've been playing with um, a few different cookie recipes, trying out different things, and I thought I'd invite you along on another sort of test batch for chocolate chip cookies. And one of the things I'm going to use is this. Um, this is candy sugar. And I'll have another video out that shows you how I make this. This is something that is used a lot in Belgian beer brewing. You put it in at the end, and it brings a real uh, caramely flavor, but it also boosts the sugar in the, in the wort, which leads to a really high gravity or high alcohol beer at the end because it's just pure sugar. Essentially what this is, is white sugar put in the oven for a couple of hours on a low temperature and it, um, it caramelizes. And so it's a fairly light caramel. And when you bring it out of the oven, it's a sheet. I break up the sheet, I put it into a food processor and I grind it down. It has a completely different flavor to brown sugar. Absolutely completely different flavor to brown sugar or sugar in the raw or any of those things. It's this really difficult to describe caramely flavor. And I've used it in a couple of cookies so far and I really like that taste. So I'm gonna put it in these chocolate chip cookies and see what happens. So in there I've got butter, brown sugar, and the candy sugar. We're just gonna cream all of that together. While those ingredients are creaming together, we'll deal with the dry. Now the dry is pretty simple. All-purpose flour, salt, baking soda. And I have started to really enjoy putting in uh, tapioca starch into cookies. I've been playing with this. I came across it um, from the Modernist Pantry. They put it in one of their chocolate chip cookie recipes and I thought it was amazing, and I've since put it in a bunch of other recipes as well. And what it does is bring this crazy crispiness to a cookie. The cookies, when you put them in your mouth, they almost, um, they do, they shatter into tiny little pieces. And it's a, it's a totally different cookie experience than what I'm used to. I really like it. So I'm still playing with it, I'm still trying to figure it out, how much to put in, when to put it in, you know. There's still work to be done, but initial testing is great. So I'm gonna turn this off. I am going to scrape down the sides. Once I've got the sides scraped down, I'm going to crack in the eggs one at a time. This is also when I'll put in some vanilla extract. Now I'm gonna leave the mixer running and I'm gonna spoon the flour in a little bit at a time. I'm gonna put in maybe two spoonfuls, let it get incorporated and then put in the next two. Don't wanna rush it. And you also don't wanna overmix this on the other end. So as soon as the last of the flour is in, turn off the mixer. The last ingredient is the chocolate chips. So I'm gonna stir those in by hand. Now it's really warm here in the, in the studio today. The oven's been going at a, at a pretty high temperature, uh, a lot going on. It's gotten really hot in here. So the dough is kind of on the loose side. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for half an hour or so, let it firm up a little bit before I bake these cookies. Now if you are watching this video and you say, I've got 99 0.9% of all the ingredients. What you don't have is the tapioca starch. You can leave it out. It's a tablespoon of tapioca starch. Your cookies will work out just fine without it. You just won't have some of the texture that I might have. 
but it's not a big deal. Um, I know that everyone says baking is all about chemistry and it's a science and all of those things, but there's a huge margin within that to make changes and, and make things your own. So I'm gonna stick this in the fridge before we ball up the cookies and see you in a second. Yes. Yay. So this is just a test. I'm just playing with an idea and they didn't, um, the shape didn't work out quite what I was looking for. Um, you're expecting to be more cakey because they're, um, nice, they're very crispy. They are very crispy. Yeah, they, they spread a little bit more than I wanted them to and I did put them in the fridge. That's something to work on in the next recipe, but how's the flavor? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're super crispy. They've got that classic kind of chocolate chip flavor to mm -hmm. them. And yet a little bit more. There's there's that, that caramel flavor sort of elevates it, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are really good. Oh, good. I don't think they'll get... The problem is we're going to sit down and eat them all. That is the problem. So I think what I'll end up doing with this recipe, try it a couple more times. I might play with the brown sugar, leave the brown sugar out and use a combination of the candy sugar and white sugar and then figure out how to get them not to spread so much. Um, not that I want a domed cakey cookie, but I would like something with a little bit better shape. Were you expecting it to be crispy or chewy? Uh, crispy, but it's crispy on the outside and chewy in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of... It's, 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 that, it's <laughs> that really... It's, a, it's Yeah. It's a lovely cookie. Okay, so this is our base recipe. We don't know what to do. We're going to make a few changes. Feel free to give it a try. Make mm -hmm. some changes. Give us some suggestions. Maybe you have some greater insight into... Uh, uh, what to do to yeah. make take it that next step and so I've got a I'm working on a video for the candy sugar and so <laughs> This is what the candy sugar looks like out of the oven, right? So it's this golden brown It's a sheet and then I ground it up in a food processor to get to this point So look for that video if you want to try these cookies Thanks for stopping by you've got some time on your hand get in the kitchen and experiment play with your food don't be afraid to make changes. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.